especially to to maintain this um, sharp navigator vac. This is a wonderful um, pet vacuum cleaner to um, get up those cat hairs, those dog hairs, whatever animal you may have in the house that's shedding. But the problem is some do not like to keep it, the filters clean. And it's not going to function well if the filters are not clean. And that goes with any type of vac. But this vac works so well. I've had it for a long time. A friend of my mom got rid of it, gave it to me. And I was there and asked them, why are you getting rid of it? What's wrong with it? And they start laughing and said, we didn't feel like cleaning it out. It's stuffed up. I'll just get another one. <laughs> I took it home, cleaned it up, and this back works so well. The suction is so powerful, you can see this dust on the filter build up really quick. So that means the suction is really, um, um, it's really good. It's not really loud to me compared to other vacs that I, I've run across. But to maintain this vac, you need a shop vac or something else to suck out the dust from the, um, these components and to keep the filters clean. It's necessary for this thing to work at its optimum, okay? But, um, this is what I'm going to do to maintain this back. I just want to share this. And this, I, I just never ran into another bag that works this well. It's lightweight. Have the motor on the brushes. The separate, uh, if you don't want to use it, it has a switch at the top. And, and when um, using it, I'm just amazed at the suction. I will keep this back for a long time, as long as um, the parts are, are, the, are there and, and working. I don't actually go out and buy backs. They're all over the place. I drive past dumpsters and down the street, and there are these shampoos and vacuum cleaners setting out. And you go over and look at them, you can't see any physical damage. Look at the filters, and they're loaded. Look at the hoses, they're loaded. People just don't want to be bothered with cleaning them out. Expensive, some of them are expensive. Setting on the curb because they're clogged up. So, this is how I maintain this one. I'm going to show you how to make your own filter. You're going to need some, um, a simple sponge and some felt. This is some scrap felt from a project that I was doing. There's some felt. Simple sponge and uh, some scissors and a little uh, hacksaw blade to uh, cut through this thick sponge to make it sort of even. So we got that a hacksaw blade. And some good scissors you're going to need for this project. And a small shop vac. Let's get the show on. You're going to also need a five gallon bucket. Put some warm water in it. Have some fabuloso ready, stand by. And some um, detergent, something to make the water soapy. Because if you're dealing with pets around your house, these hoses are going to begin to pick up um, some type of smell. And to get that out, it needs to be rinse and uh, uh, some water running through there so it needs to be detached from the unit to do that but let me show you how I do that also but we're going to first start with working with the filters first okay on this back you had a bottom had a bottom front filter here it's just gonna press a little latch there and you have it right here as you can see it's dirty you can take your felt, I mean once these get, they start to get worn, uh, you can take your felt and a, um, 
a pencil or a pen or some type of marker and trace it and cut out the seam. Uh, just cut you out of the filter and put that there. So we're going to trace that and cut that out. Top has a button here that you push. This whole front section comes out. Down here at the bottom, down here we have two thick sponge filters and look how well that collects that dust. That's one. There's another one here. Now this needs to be uh, shaken off, knocked off, brushed off. Have you, whatever you need to do to get that off of there. Then at the bottom we have another small flat filter. Looks like it maybe two to two together maybe but all that needs to be maintained and clean this is like it needs to be thrown out that's why we have our felt here to make new ones the reason you need your um, shop back that you can suck all this stuff out we're going to take our shop back and suck the dust up here Take a rag and some soapy water, right? Wipe it down. <laughs> 